A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Warriors and Grizzlies Game 3 Injury Report Here are the latest injury reports for the Warriors and Grizzlies games. Desmond Baines back Titans. Dylan Brooks was ejected in Game 2 and Gary Payton I.I. fractured his left elbow. All these injuries could affect the Warriors and Grizzlies series. Let's look at each of these stories in detail. Which of these players could go down in Game 3? Desmond Baines back tightens up. The Grizzlies will likely be without their star point guard in Game 2 of the Western Conference Finals because of an injury to his lower back. Bain has struggled with injuries this postseason and was not looking his best. Despite the sore back, Bain still managed to play 32 minutes, leading the Grizzlies to victory. Memphis Grizzlies forward Desmond Bain is listed as questionable for Game 2 against the Golden State Warriors because of lower back serenus. Bain is expected to play through the serenus and is likely to return in the third game of the series. The Memphis Grizzlies are without Zaire Williams and Stephen Adams due to health protocols. Memphis will be without star shooting guard Aaron Brooks, who is still recovering from a strained back. Bain, who played just 30, two minutes in Game 2, has limited playing time and is a questionable for Game 3. The Warriors have the best starting lineup in the league, so the Grizzlies need to win to keep their playoff run alive. During Game 2 of the Warriors vs. Grizzlies, the Grizzlies have won 18 of 19 best of 7 series. Their only loss came in the 2016 NBA Finals. This year, the Warriors are 18 minus 1 Sue and 3 minus 1 Atias against the Grizzlies. Despite this, the Grizzlies are still growing up faster than the Minnesota Timberwolves. With Desmond Bain scoring 26 points and hitting 7 threes, the Grizzlies have tied their franchise record for biggest comeback victory in a series. Draymond Green will miss his second straight game with a calf injury. He could return later in the week. This will put the Warriors in a position to defend the Grizzlies' high-scoring offense, which is ranked fourth in the NBA. With no green, the Warriors will be up against a team that can put up 130 points per game. With so much riding on Yamarant, Memphis will need more from their star guard. The Grizzlies can't win the series on his own. Memphis will need help from both Bain and Jackson to close out the series. Even though Yamarant is having a great series, he can't do it alone. A team needs more than one star to win the series. The Golden State Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies are the underdogs in this series, but the Grizzlies have a good chance to win this series. After all, the Grizzlies have swept the Warriors in the regular season and finished with the second-best record in the NBA. It's not impossible for them to even the series if they play their best, but the Warriors are the underdogs in this series and will want to make it as easy as possible. Grizzlies' Dylan Brooks ejected in Game 2. The Memphis Grizzlies upset the Golden State Warriors in Game 2 of the NBA Finals, winning 106-101 to tie the series at one game apiece. In the first quarter, Grizzlies Dylan Brooks fouled Warriors guard Gary Payton II, who was ejected for the foul. During the play, Brooks hit Payton in the head and he fell to the floor. The foul was deemed flagrant too, and the Grizzlies forward was ejected from the game. The Grizzlies will be without starting guard Aaron Brooks, and starting center Desmond Bain has a strained back. Bain played only 32 minutes in Game 2 and scored 5 points. Memphis coach Taylor Jenkins has turned to rookie guard Zaire Williams to fill in. This is a significant blow for the Warriors. Despite the blow to the team's starting lineup, Brooks' absence will make it harder for the Grizzlies to adjust to the Warriors' perimeter stars during the first quarter of Game 2 of the NBA Finals. The Memphis Grizzlies' Dylan Brooks was ejected for flagrant foul to against the Golden State Warriors. Brooks hit Peyton's head during a transition layup attempt. Brooks's foul on Peyton led to an automatic ejection. After the play, Gary Payton took the foul, making one of two free throws before exiting the game. After a game two flagrant foul on Gary Payton II, the NBA has suspended Dylan Brooks for one game without pay. Memphis center Stephen Adams cleared the league's health protocols and could start game three on Saturday. The Grizzlies and Golden State Warriors remain tied at one win apiece, but the NBA has not ruled out a return to the NBA Finals. 
Grizzlies Gary Payton I.I. Fractures Left Elbow Golden State Warriors guard Gary Payton I.I. suffered a left elbow injury during a game against the Memphis Grizzlies in Memphis on Wednesday night. The injury was caused by a dirty play by Dylan Brooks in the first quarter. A subsequent MRI will determine the extent of the damage. The Warriors are now locked in the Western Conference semifinal. Sith injury to Payton was reported after the game after Dylan Brooks fouled him in a flagrant foul in the first quarter of Game 2. Although the injury is not considered serious, it will keep him out of the rest of the series against the Grizzlies. The Warriors do not expect Payton to return until the NBA Finals. However, they still hope to get Andre Iguodala back for Game 3 before the series in German Fizz Grizzlies guard Dylan Brooks was ejected during Game 2 after hitting Golden State guard Gary Payton II from behind. Upon landing from the foul, Payton II grabbed his left arm and crashed to the floor. He did not return to the game and was ruled out of Game 3. Later, Payton was diagnosed with a fractured left elbow and will undergo an MRI on witness day if injury to Gary Payton II is significant because it could affect the Warriors' chances in the Western Conference Finals. Without him, they might not have been able to make it to the finals. However, the Warriors do have three days off before Game 3, which will allow him to recover. If he misses Game 3, Damian Lee, Jordan Poole, and Jonathan Kuminga will likely get more minutes. Surf and Bia has suspended Dylan Brooks for Game 2 after a flagrant two foul on Gurry Payton II during Game 2. As a result, Payton will be out for the rest of the series against Memphis, and most likely the entire Western Conference Finals. The Warriors have not ruled out a return to the NBA Finals in this series, but are hesitant to risk the health of their star player after the injury. Following the injury, Payton went to the locker room. He was in obvious pain. After the game, the Warriors coach took note of the foul, which could have caused the injury to Gary Payton. Gary Payton is the son of Hall of Famer Gary Payton and he played for four NBA teams before being drafted by Golden State. In the last five years, Gary Payton played in the G League and the NBA and was one of Golden State's premier perimeter defenders. In Game 2, Yomorant exploded for 47 points, and Gary Payton was inserted into the starting lineup for Game 3. In the Warriors' Game 5 loss, Jordan Poole and Stephen Curry started, but now the team must adjust its starting unit and insert Gary Payton. In his first 16 starts this season, Payton averaged 9.9 .9 points, 3.8 rebounds, and 1.8 steals. Payton will likely play a key role in the Warriors' bench rotation. And he is expected to play a significant role in this Game 3 against the Grizzlies.